Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On November 4, 2025, a ruling from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office struck Micron Technology, upholding the validity of Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, 3D NAND patents. Micron's fifth patent invalidation challenge ended in failure once again. Meanwhile, across the Pacific, at the Dusseldorf branch of the European Patent Court for a uniformity, YMTC submitted a 3,000-page technical evidence report to Micron, accusing it of infringing three core patents. Faced with a failed defense and a stalled defense, Micron technology suddenly found itself in an unprecedented siege. This counterattack came so swiftly that foreign media outlets suggested the outcome was essentially predetermined. It is understood that Chinese companies launched patent challenges against Micron technology primarily for two reasons. First, to protect their legitimate patented technologies from Micron's infringement. And second, to vie for influence in the memory chip industry and say no to Micron's reliance on US hegemony. Public information shows that from 2018 to 2022, Micron Technology spent $9.45 million lobbying the US government alone. Where did this money go? Ostensibly, it was to protect the interests of American companies, but in reality, it was urging the US to take further measures to contain China, using government pressure to restrict the development of Micron's competitors. Micron's most despicable act was in 2017. At that time, Fujian Jinhua and Taiwan's UMC planned a joint venture to develop 32 nanometers DRAM, which was supposed to be a good opportunity for China's memory chip industry to break through. But what happened? Micron sued UMC in the Northern District of California for stealing trade secrets and also indicted three employees of UMC and Jinhua, labeling them economic espionage. This whole situation immediately caused problems for projects invested in by Chinese companies. Although the two sides reached an out-of-court settlement in 2023, the damage Micron technology had caused to Fujian Jinhua and the domestic semiconductor industry chain had already been done. Meanwhile, Yangtze Memory Technologies, YMTC, after years of technological research and development, successfully broke through the key technologies of 3D NAND flash memory. Even South Korean memory chip giants like Samsung and SK Hynix had to obtain licenses from Chinese companies to use related patent technologies. In contrast, Micron Technology, an American company, has been slow to reach patent licensing agreements with Chinese companies. This has resulted in Chinese companies being unable to reclaim the patent technologies they had invested heavily in developing in a timely manner. To counter Micron Technologies' hegemonic behavior, YMTC initiated patent infringement lawsuits against Micron in the United States in 2023, involving more than 20 patents. The Comprehensive Counterattack At this critical juncture, with the verdicts of the relevant cases still pending. On October 6, 2025, Yangtze Memory Technologies Company, Limited, YMTC, simultaneously filed parallel lawsuits in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Texas, the High Court of Justice in the United Kingdom, and the Dusseldorf Regional Court of the European Patent and Trademark Office, accusing Micron Technology and its distributor Avnet of infringing on eight of its US 3D NAND patents. What does this mean? YMTC has taken action in all four of the world's strongest intellectual property jurisdictions. This is not a simple lawsuit, but a meticulously planned global encirclement. Behind each lawsuit lies a technical evidence report exceeding 3,000 pages. The layout of each patent family demonstrates that YMTC has been playing a long game since its inception. YMTC is now using methods commonly employed by the West to launch a reasonable and legal counterattack against American companies. 
Micron's response was swift, initiating invalidation challenges against more than 20 of YMTC's US patents, attempting to dismantle the attack at its source. As of November 6, 2025, the US Patent and Trademark Office had ruled on five cases, resulting in three Yangtze memory technologies, YMTC, patents remaining valid and certain claims of two other patents being declared invalid. Behind this patent war lies a deeper logic. Domestic chip manufacturers are no longer content with merely following, but are beginning to lead globally. Faced with the rise of Chinese domestic memory chip manufacturers, Micron Technology announced on October 17, 2025, that it would gradually withdraw from the entire data center business in China. This decision, seemingly a strategic adjustment, is in reality a desperate move forced into a corner. The Chinese market contributes $3.4 billion in revenue to Micron annually, accounting for 12% of its global revenue. Now, due to Micron's previous egregious actions, it has to relinquish this lucrative market. Micron's predicament is not entirely a result of technological backwardness, but rather a backlash against the US government's decoupling and supply chain disruption policy. In 2022, the US government passed the Chip and Science Act, attempting to reshape the global semiconductor supply chain through subsidies and restrictions. But what was the result? China's semiconductor industry not only avoided being strangled, but actually accelerated its pace of independent innovation. In the first half of 2025, China's semiconductor equipment imports decreased by 28% year-on-year, and the market share of domestically produced semiconductor equipment exceeded 40%. This demonstrates that blockades and suppression only force related Chinese industries to become stronger. More importantly, the US government's policies are harming its own companies. Micron's withdrawal from China's data center business resulted not only in a loss of $3.4 billion in annual revenue, but also in a loss of future influence in the world's largest market. The counterattacks of Chinese companies are, in fact, aimed at protecting their legitimate rights and interests. This counterattack is not only a contest of technology, but also a game of national strategy. Who will ultimately prevail depends on who can gain the upper hand in technological innovation, market positioning, and political maneuvering. Micron Technologies current predicament is merely a microcosm of the US semiconductor industry. Yangtze Memories counterattack represents the rise of China's semiconductor industry. This competition concerning the chip dominance between China and the US may have only just begun.